In this video, I will show you how to use the query function. Query function is one of the most powerful functions available in Google Sheets. You can use it to combine data from multiple sheets like this. You can also use it to combine data and choose only a subset from it meeting certain criteria such as East region and units greater than 70. On the first sheet here, I have some partial data for some sales representatives with the number of units sold, the date on which they sold the units and the region that they belong to. The second sheet, I have copied the same data but changed the name of the first region to new so that you know that the data is coming from this sheet after I combine it. If you remember, in a previous video, I showed you how you can use the curly braces array notation to get data from different sheets. Let's revisit it here. So let's start our curly braces. Select the first sheet. Select the data that we require. And because we want the data in different rows when we combine it with the other sheet, we'll use a semicolon and then select the next set of data and close our curly braces. So you can see that you now have a copy of the data from both the sheets and you can add your headers to this. While this method is very easy, there is a disadvantage. What if you had a new row of data, say here. Let's go back to our combined sheet and you'll see that the new row is not updated. Not think of updating this formula every time your source data gets updated. So we need a better method. And that's where the query function comes in. Let's construct our query function. So we want the data from this table here. We also want the data from this table. So this is the same thing as what we did here using the curly braces. Essentially, we are selecting the data from each table that we want to be reflected in this combined table. One way that we can use to make this table automatically update when your source data changes is to drop this end reference and keep the end as the G column and likewise for the other sheet as well. So you'll see that we are getting the data from the first sheet but not from the second sheet. This is because we are taking all the rows from the first sheet even when the values were null. So we need to be able to extract only a subset of the two sheets where the values are not null. So the way to extract a subset of a sheet or a table is to use the where clause within the query function. So let's start by writing the select statement. This statement is very similar to the SQL or SQL select statement where you are specifying what part of the data you want to pull in. So in this case, we want to first see whether we can pull in all the data. And you can see that we're getting the same result because the data from the first sheet is actually expanded to include all of the rows and there is no space to include data from the second sheet here. Let's go back and add a row to our original first sheet so that we can see how to extract a subset of the data from the combined two sheets. So the first thing we need to do is query the data that's available in these two sheets, select all of the data, that is select all of the columns, but we want to apply a condition that the column number one is not null.
and you can see that you have data from both the sheets this time and there is no overwriting of the data by the first sheet because you have also specified the condition that the column 1 should not be null. If you expect a scenario where you might have null in column 1 but not in column 2 then you can modify this to specify the column that you expect not to be null whenever you have some data. Otherwise you can also use the AND condition to ensure that you capture data for all such columns that may or may not be null. Now assume that we have a requirement to combine data from both the sheets but pull in only data for the east region and only those rows where the number of units sold is greater than 75. We can do this very easily by using the query function by modifying our criteria. So let's delete this. We want to select all the rows but select a subset where the column 1 equals the east region and where column 5 is greater than 75. The reason this did not work is that my region is in column 2. So let's modify that condition here where column 2 equals east and column 5 has a value of greater than 75. Let's see if that works. And yes, we've got data for the east region where the number of units sold has a value of greater than 75. So to summarize what we've just learned, you can use the curly braces notation to pull in data from more than one sheet in Google Sheets. However, whenever you update the data in any of the sheets from where your data is sourced, then this notation does not help you extract the updated data. To do that, we need to use the query function and we need to specify the criteria where the given column will not be null when you update the data. That allows you to combine more than one sheet and still auto update whenever you have new data appearing on a given sheet. One or more tables present in different sheets, then you can expand the select statement to include more than one criteria by using either the AND or OR conditions. This video gave you a good introduction to the query function and I hope you can appreciate how powerful the query function can be when you want to combine data from more than one sheet or table and you have multiple criteria. I hope you found this video useful. If so, give it a like. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.